and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today in the kitchen, I am cooking some red skin loaded baked potato soup. Yes, doesn't that sound good? Okay, so I'm gonna give you my ingredients first. Uh, the main ingredient is red skin potatoes. So we're gonna have red skin potatoes. We need some chicken broth, some heavy whipping cream, and milk. Of course, we're gonna need some bacon, some cheese. We will need for our vegetables, and, uh, we'll need a whole onion, some celery, and some green onions. And for our seasonings, all we're gonna use is black pepper, salt, and some garlic powder. So, first thing we need to do is chop up some potatoes. And what I'm gonna do is start chopping these potatoes. I've already started, look at these. I've already started chopping these up. And what I did was I put them in a uh, bowl of cold water because when you cook potatoes, they will turn brown quickly on you. And because as you see, I have a lot of potatoes to cut. So while I'm cutting them, since that's gonna take a little time, I put them in the cold water to keep them from turning brown. Ice water is even better than cold water. So. I'm gonna start chopping up my potatoes. And guess what I need you guys to do? You know, go out there and hit that subscribe button. What that subscribe button allows you to do is to uh, automatically receive my videos once they come out. It allows you to come in and dialogue with me about things that I've cooked or things you'd like to see me cook or let me know how things turn out when you've cooked them. So you guys hit that button and make sure you hit the like button, hit that notification bell and share. Hit that share button too. Um, you know, go ahead and let your friends know what's going on in Levon's kitchen. You know, they might want to know how to cook as well. You don't want to keep all this goodness to yourself. So I'm going to go ahead cut up these potatoes and I'll be right back. So I have diced up 12 medium sized potatoes and I put them in my ice water so that they wouldn't turn brown. A lot of potatoes because I'm cooking a lot of soup. You know me, I always cook a lot. So I'm going to drain these and then I'm going to add them to my pot. I have three quarts of water in my pot. And I, before I add them, I'm gonna add my chicken broth. I have two, four, four cups of chicken broth. Now I'm gonna add my potatoes. Well, it's flashing. I'm gonna turn those on high so that those will come to a boil. Now, while those are boiling, I'm going to start to cook my bacon. I've put my bacon on a baking sheet, and I'm going to put it in the oven. But before I put it in the oven, I'm going to cover it with paper towel so that the grease doesn't splatter all over my oven. I'm going to put, I have my oven set for 450 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. Middle, media, middle. <laughs> the middle rack and let that go ahead and cook till it's nice and crispy. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up my onion. Let's see. And let those both cook. I've got a large onion. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up my onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add this onion right to the pot. And I'm gonna dice it small. And if you notice those potatoes, I dice those small too because I mean, nobody wants to be putting very large chunks of potato on their spoon to eat it. So those were small. So I'm gonna dice these, uh, not dice, but slice these onions very small. And I'm gonna just add these right to the pot.
It's a very big onion, but I still want all of it in there. Just like I said, it's gonna be a lot of soup. So when I say small, you see, well, let me pull them apart, they're smaller, but I want them real small. They'll come apart as I put them, as they start to cook. So we have our one large onion. We also have one cup of celery. I'm going to go ahead and add that as well. Now, you know, potatoes require a lot of salt. So I'm going to actually put a whole tablespoon of salt in here. I'm going to put two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of black pepper. For right now, I'm going to give this a stir and let these potatoes cook. Get those onions in there. Mm. So I'm going to let that go ahead and cook until those potatoes are soft. Let my bacon cook until it's crunchy, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm ready to take this bacon out, check on it. As you can see, what has happened is the paper towel has soaked up most of that bacon grease. So I'm going to take this paper towel off for now. My bacon is almost done, and there's just a little bit of grease in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that bacon grease right in my potatoes. I'm gonna let this cook for maybe another minute and a half just to get it a little bit more crispy. When you're cooking bacon in the oven, you really have to be careful with that um, because if that grease is flying all over, not only will it make a mess in your oven, but it could cause a fire, which is another reason I put the paper towel over the bacon. So if you want to cook bacon in the oven, make sure you cover it with the paper towel. It makes for such an easy cleanup and it's a safe way to do it. And as you notice, all the bacon comes out evenly and it's going to all be so crispy. So I'm going to let that cook for another minute. I'm going to go ahead and stir the bacon grease that I put up in here. Of course, that's going to give it a little extra flavor. You know, bacon makes everything taste good. Okay, so I'm going to let those both cook and I'll be right back. Okay, so my bacon is all the way done. And what I want to do with it is crumble it up. I'm going to put half of it into my soup and the other half on top of my soup as a garnish. So as you can see, it's nice and crispy. So I'm just going to just take this and just, just crumble it all up. Break it up. That's all crumbled up. I'm going to sit that to the side because I'm going to use that later. I'm going to put half of it in the soup and half of it in the um, on top of the garnish. So for now, I'm going to sit that to the side. In the meantime, I am about to make a roux. 
Now, you've seen me make roux before in my seafood gumbo video, in my chicken and sausage video, gumbo video. My roux is half flour, half oil, on which I'm using butter. Butter for uh, baked potatoes is just so tasty. So, what I'm gonna do, I've got a quarter cup of butter in here that I'm melting, and I'm going to add to it a quarter cup of flour. Let's get this nice and melted. And I'm just gonna stir this in here for now. I need to turn this down a little. I want you to come close. I really want you guys to learn how to make these roots. So come over here. I want you to see this. Okay. So. Keep stirring it, whisking it, should I say. Use a whisk when you make your roux because you don't want lumps in them. You don't want it to burn. What you're trying to do is cook that flour taste out. You don't want your roux to taste like flour. And what a roux is, is a thickening agent. We want our potato soup to be nice, thick, and creamy. So, I'm gonna make our roux. Now, in my gumbo videos, I continuously cook my roux until it gets a really dark brown. But for potato soup, I don't need it to be dark brown because potato soups are usually white. They're creamy looking. So this is good. I just needed it to cook out that taste of that flour. So this is good. And what I'm going to do now is add my heavy whipping cream and my milk. Just need a very little bit of cream in here. Ooh, look at that. See how, what it did? It just made it real thick. I'm gonna thin that out a little bit with this milk though. That's too thick. <laughs> just add a little at a time because you don't wanna overdo it. And what we're gonna do is once our potatoes are done, we're just gonna add that to the soup to make our soup nice and thick and creamy. All right, our roux is done. I'm gonna sit this to the side for now and wait for our potatoes to be done because they're still not done yet. Well, we're gonna check them. And you know how you check to see if potatoes are done, you Stick a fork in them and see if they're done. You've heard the expression, stick a fork in them and see if he's done. That's how you check for potatoes. Let me give me a fork. I doubt if they're done yet, but we're gonna check. No, they're, they're still a little on the dense side, so we're gonna wait, let them soften up a little bit more. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our roux and thicken up that soup. So my potatoes are almost done. I'm gonna take them off of this stove. Bring them back over here and on this stove. Remember my roux which is nice and done, it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and add my roux, little by little, just stir it in little by little. Get all of that goodness in there, it's gonna make our Soup so nice and creamy and thick. Stir that up really well. We're going to add our crumbled up bacon. We're going to add our two cups of cheese.
Oh, this is smelling so good. Oh, wow. This is smelling so good. So we're going to let this simmer for another 20 minutes and let this thicken up. So let's check these potatoes and see if they're ready. See if they're soft. Yes, they're very soft. Potatoes are ready. Let me take, let me give it a stir. I want to taste it, make sure it has enough salt and pepper. Does need a little bit more salt. Add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper. It's always better to add more than to put too much in the beginning. Okay, so now what I want to do, remember I was telling you about making this nice and clean. I'm going to strain some of these potatoes out. Just a few. I'm going to put them in a bowl and I'm going to mash them. I'm going to mash these and then I'll put them back. That's going to make it even more creamy. Woo, that's hot. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We'll do it like this. Just add a few at a time. Cause that bowl is hot. Those hot potatoes. Let's see how thick and creamy it is. Remember, I had a lot of liquid in here, so it's going to take a lot to make this thick and creamy. So I am going to add some more to mash. There's still a lot of potatoes in there. So I am going to, let me see if this masher is tall enough. Yeah, I am going to mash some in the pot. Now that they're all nice and mashed up and mixed up, it's time to do what? Taste this, yes. Because the smell is getting to me. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, let me get some of this out of the way. Out of our way. And we are going to go ahead and put some in the bowl. Mm. So, I want you to see this. And remember I told you I saved some of that bacon. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put a little of that bacon on top. Put some extra cheese on top. Remember those green onions I cut up? I'm gonna put some of those in there. And I've got my spoon and I'm ready. Look at that. Yes. I love green onions, so I put a lot in my bowl. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have to put any of that extra stuff because remember, all of it's in the soup. But I just like all that extra. Ooh, this bowl is hot. Mmm, my bacon is still crispy. <laughs> Those green onions, yes. Mmm, look at the regular onions. Mmm, that cheese is just topping it off. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Now, on those cold winter days, when you're stuck in the house, 
Ain't nothing better than a big old pot of soup like that. Even though I'm in Florida and it's 90 degrees, <laughs> I still like soup. <laughs> oh, especially when it's good. Like, oh, this is so good, y'all. Mmm. Okay. Well, let me turn this off because that's done. I want to finish eating my soup. And guess what? That's right. I'll see you guys next time in the kitchen. Bye.